Maya Sharma joins us from Bengaluru from that Ravinder Kala, uh, Kala Shetra. Maya, a somber ceremony where that state funeral being accorded to Gauri Lankesh. Tell us what's happening there. Well, the body has left for the cremation ground. There were thousands of people actually who came to pay their tribute, pay their respects to Gauri Lankesh as she lay here, as she lay here after her murder last night. There was a post-mortem conducted in the morning, although the cause of death was pretty evident. Those bullets which found their mark and which left her lying dead on the veranda of her own home last evening. So after the post-mortem, the body brought to Ravindra Kalakshetra, where tributes were paid by ordinary people, by her colleagues, by politicians, including the chief minister. Veera Pamoyli was also here. Several politicians had turned out to pay their respects, fellow journalists, of course. Gauri was one of the leading lights of the journalism scene in Bengaluru, running her weekly Kannada paper, the Gauri Lankesh Patrike, which she actually had inherited her journalistic flair from her father, P. Lankesh, a pioneer in Kannada journalism who ran his own tabloid paper without any ads. He was also feisty, he was also outspoken, and she inherited those traits certainly from her father, P. Lankesh, as she ran that paper for the last so many years. Every Thursday, the paper would come out. Wednesday evening was the time, actually, when she would be working feverishly to put the paper together, that is, this evening, and the paper would come out on Thursday morning. That was Gauri Lankesh a vibrant person who spoke her mind, who didn't believe in tact and diplomacy, who said things as she wanted to say them. She was considered leftist, she was considered anti-Hindutva. And while, of course, the investigation is still in a very, very early stage, many people who joined for the protests around the city and around the country do believe that her killing had something to do, had indeed something to do with her views and the views that she expressed so fearlessly. They do believe it was connected to that investigation, a special team, trying to look into the murder, trying to figure out what went on, who was behind the killing. But certainly she will be missed tremendously, not just in Bengaluru's journalism circle, but this is something which has shocked the country. Maya, and very quickly, are the police treating that man in the helmet and black clothes that has been seen on the CCTV footage as a possible suspect? Well, they're looking, of course, into all angles and considering that they were seeing in case somebody did in fact have any kind of recce, any kind of plan, they're looking into all angles. But, of course, the Home Minister did tell us a short while ago that there were leads that it, the case would be cracked very soon, along with the case of Kalburgi, a two-year-old case. So they did say that they did have leads and would be making some kind of, some kind of uh, arrest soon. But really, after two years, after two years waiting for the seizure of, Gulbar of uh, Kalburgi, people are not too optimistic but hopeful, though, that there will be justice for Gauri, justice for Gauri Lankesh, who was killed so violently last night. All right, Maya Sharma, we leave it there for the moment. Thanks very much for joining us with those details. So the body of Gauri Lankesh leaving for the cremation ground for the last rites.